News Channel 3's Bryant Somerville joins us now for more on this story. And Bryant, you know, to drive by the building, you really wouldn't even think anything was wrong with it. That's right, Susan. The outside of this building shows little damage. But after taking a look inside, you'll see why people are discussing whether to take it down. And right now, that seems to be the big question. What will happen next to this historical landmark? It's a historical site in Portsmouth. The Columbia Music Hall is known for its elegant design both inside and out. But if you looked at the inside today, this is what you would see. What you see from the outside really doesn't do justice to the damage that's inside. We received the call at approximately 3.04 this morning. First units on scene reported uh, fire in the rear of the structure, and shortly after that, fire coming through the roof. The big black cloud of smoke belched through that front door, and uh, I said, oh, no, there it goes. And at that moment, the uh, roof ignited. Joey Ray works at the music hall. It was difficult for him to shoot this home video, forced to watch as a place he loved was destroyed by fire. The captain of the fire department says it took nearly two hours to control the flames, a risky task for his team. We have firefighters on the uh, mezzanine level inside, and, and the roof started to come in, so we pretty quickly had to evacuate the building. For many, the thought of the building being gone is hard to understand. I've cried a lot of tears and, and just keep looking at the building as if it's going to be healed magically somehow. The Columbia Music Hall was in its seventh year of renovations. Now, this historical venue may have to be torn down leaving community members to start from scratch. Now, the co-owner we talked to said she would like to keep the building up and renovate it. But like I said earlier, it's unclear, at least for now, on the building's future. And as for the fire itself, Susan, the fire captain in Portsmouth told us it will take at least a few days, maybe more, before they have any idea on what caused the fire. Wow. All right. Thanks a lot, Brian, for that update. Police in Canova say...